Hey guys, in this video we're going to create a style guide using zero height, okay? What we're going to do is that we're going to extract the design that we have built in our Figma application and then from this design we're going to create a style guide that we can use it in in the future when we start to develop our application and when we need the details from our design you see that it's going to be very uh, very helpful okay so without spending more time let's jump right in so let's get started what we're going to do is that we're going to do absolutely everything in our browser and we're going to need uh, two web application that's going to be one of the applications going to be the figma uh, actually, you can use Figma, you can use Sketch uh, on the purpose of creating your style guide. It doesn't matter, uh, well, uh, it's matter, uh, depend in which program you make your UI, okay? In my case, I have uh, my personal website here uh, where I make some simple UI in Figma, okay? So uh, I show you how to work with this in Figma, but it's going to be very similar if you use Sketch as well, okay? And the idea is that we just extract the, the main points and the main styles that we need from, from here. And then we make a beautiful documentation with all the colors, typography, icons, and logo, and everything that we need for our brand, okay? Uh, in Figma, we have options that we can make the colors like uh, determinate, predeterminate, and we can name it and we can use it for uh, some different components. So uh, you can do in two approaches. Uh, obviously, when you start the design, uh, you start with uh, your personal style guide. You just create some style guide uh, in, in the tool of your choice for example in my case i'm using figma okay and here i'm defining some uh, uh some primary colors some secondary colors some neutral colors and then some font styles as well and some bottle styles uh and you can export uh from here to your style guide documentation it's going to be a documentation for you and for everyone who is going to work uh, with you okay and i show you how we can create very very easy okay but in case that let's go and say that you start your design or you do your design without that you start from the style guide so what you can do is that you can uh, extract the style guide directly from uh, from the page directly from the design that you have in figma okay uh, i just show you how this happening and how you can do this for example let's go and say that he is a some specific color that we need to use all across the design and then in the future in our uh, web application so when you select the color here as you can see that uh, when we go in field and uh, you just press the four uh, dots here then you can uh, name the color like let's go and say uh, blue light okay and then we just create it and we get this color here as you can see that um, in the process in the process of the designing everything i have already uh, my colors extracted okay so i'm i'm going to using these colors uh, in the creation of a style guide okay well let's go to start and probably you get a better idea of what we uh, want to achieve here okay uh, the other application web application that we want to use that's a zero height and the zero height that's uh, exactly what we want okay uh, we want a beautiful nice style guide well actually it doesn't matter that it's beautiful it's just the idea that it's functional okay and why we want this style guide well uh, like i say in the intro of the video uh, it's going to be helpful for us if we're not the designer who make the design it's going to be helpful for the developers okay and it's uh, something that is going to be in the future very helpful because if you want to change something in your uh, branding style in your branding presentation and probably that's a good place that you can uh, documentate this uh, this point here okay so what we want and what we have to do in order to create it you just have to log in in my case here I'm in the login page uh, here it's everything clean we don't have uh, we don't have any program uh, project style for the moment and I show you uh, from where we start well from here you create your project where is the style guide and from uploads you create well you upload 
uh, the Figma or sketch files that you want to extract the style from them. Okay, so let's go on to start from here to have something to work as you can see that you can use sketch or Figma and then we say add new upload and then we're going to use Figma. Now in case of Figma uh, you don't need to upload nothing like uh, from your uh, local machine. All you have to do is just grab the link from here and then you just upload uh, upload it here. Okay, and that's just quite amazing actually because we do absolutely everything in the browser you can design a beautiful ui in the browser and and, and then it's just very easy to access as you can see here uh, once when we say add that going to fetch uh, from the figma uh, probably in the future i'm going to do as well a video because figma they uh, have a beautiful api documentation they have an api that we can uh, consume and you can you can use it in your project and that can get quite dynamic your project for example if the designer is changing something in the document in figma you can use these changes like consuming the api and actually what's happening here something similar i guess right okay so uh here we have the style uh, the style guide that we just explore from uh from our figma file okay and if we don't want the style guide then if you want for example from the web we just export the other file like for example here we say uh, figma and we just use uh, the website well the website uh, the template uh, we where we create the the design okay so that's going to be the first one probably we're going to use this one because here we have a buttons and stuff like this one that i can show you so how we can implement in our style guide uh, documentation okay so now we go in the documentation here and then you say create and to create, uh, we need to give some names. So we say AKR style guide. Okay, and that's going to be the name of our style guide. If you want, you can upload your uh, your logo. For example, I think that I have somewhere in here. For example, yeah, that's fine. So we just upload the logo here in the top. Uh, after that when we publish this uh, the people who collaborate and work with us they can download the logo from here uh, that's quite useful as well okay so let's go to start uh, with uh, a quick look of the pages and we're not going to fill all the pages because that's uh, a many uh, many information for your documentation that probably you should do by your own uh, we're not going to spend so much time in one video here uh, we just start with the basic that's the introduction of your style guide uh, here you can put what's the idea what's the main idea of your brand then the principles that uh, the developers uh, slash designers they have to follow so all the principles you can uh, you can add here so means that everyone who opened the the, the the style guide can have idea of what's the principles and what was the idea that when we designed the ui here okay and we start with uh, colors for example uh, they divide in primary colors and you can see here secondary colors and neutral colors as well uh, in our case i think that we're going to use just the primary so if you click here the pink box and you can choose from which of the uh, which of the which of the files that you uh, explore oh, explore import okay sorry about that uh, we go in uh, aka web we're going to use uh, let's go to see the colors. We want the primary uh, helper color, the primary here, and then uh, the primary light we want. Uh, let's go to add these colors here. And as you can see, it's going to add for us everything. And uh, you have a quick button that you can uh, clip to your board, this one, and or you can use the RGB uh, value if you want. Okay. Uh, secondary colors, let's go to add. Uh, neutral colors that we have the blue and the neutral blue and then the neutral orange we're going to add these colors and for the moment the secondary we leave it uh, as it is okay so we continue uh, with uh, typography when you go in the typography we have the header and for the header we're going to use probably uh, we're going to add some styles if you close the drop down here you can see that that's for example the text style uh, we have a header regular uh, we're going to use it and then the subtitle i'm going to include as well in the header so there we go we add this one and it's as you can see it's present quite uh, 
uh, quite beautiful and helpful and with the information that you need and then that's going to add some style of the body okay and then again we're going to use the the a care web and then from here we say a uh, paragraph light that's just the only styles that i have for the moment but as i can say that you can complete everything with your own styles and be more uh, make more or put more details here okay uh, because that's just a example video so we're not going to get in so much details okay so let's go to leave it as it is just uh, the header and we have the headline regular and subtitle and then the body uh, we have some style for the body text here um, icons well let's go to add the some icons that we have in the design as well uh, let's go and say that the logo was uh, or actually we have to found uh, we have to found the logo now i think that that's yeah that's going to be in components then you open the desktop home button it's not this one desktop there we go aka logo uh, we can add the logo so uh, whatever who is using our uh, our documentation can download from here and inspect and see what's uh, what's the main colors and everything how it works here uh, let's go to add some icons and the icon it's going to be let me see we have the youtube icon linkedin icon we have and code pen icon we have as well and we just add these through item these three uh, icons so we have something to showcase in our documentation uh what more we can make a layout uh, and then we can make the buttons let's go to see the buttons we can put some primary button for example uh, the primary button in our case it's going to be let me see where we have the primary that's a home button and that's a different of the primary button that's the primary light yes we can use it but now we looking for a primary there we go primary button here so we just add this one and uh, actually you can change the order once when that's okay so that's the primary and that's the light here the light version so you can just drop uh, drag and drop uh, in the order that you prefer okay so when this done i think that with all these styles for the moment we good just for the example so what you can do is the or you can preview okay or you can uh, let's go and say that we want to see how the our documentation is going to look like okay and there we go that's your documentation page means that um, you can generate a link and you can share this link uh, we go if you say for example share uh, we copy the link here uh, we open a new uh, window and we just paste it here uh, you see what's happening that's uh, well actually that's our style guide okay and you can share this link with everyone that you want that's having access uh, for our style guide and probably as an option for some uh, custom domain okay but we're just using the free version uh, there's a paid version with more uh, more options obviously okay but this one is just for the purpose of uh, the example how to use uh, zero hike with uh, figma okay to make your uh, style guide documentation so as you can see from here we can select uh we can we can see the logo of the of the brand okay uh, then you can go in the colors and we can see some uh, we can see the primary colors we can copy from here the value we can see the neutral colors and if you go in the typography you see the typography here and now it's coming the the good part for the developers okay that's something that's going to be helpful for you if we go in the design tokens uh, design tokens they going to generate for us it depends on the file that we use here uh, they going to generate uh, styles like for example in case of SAS they going to generate a bunch of uh, variables that we can use in our design okay and all these variables actually is everything that we look around here the colors and the style for the font and all this stuff okay and that could be generated as well in CSS uh, variables uh, because every time the browser starts to support more and more uh, CSS variables then if you work on iOS or Android that's going to work for you as well so that's quite cool actually uh, let's go and say that you want in SAS so from here you can download uh, the SAS file so this means that you can grab the SAS file and put in 
some of your CSS or style directory or whatever the, the directory that you put your styles okay and from there you can use uh, all these variables uh, which is uh, very handy okay and it's actually here as well when we go in the button if uh, the designer or the person who designed this one it's uh, very kindful uh, he can make uh, he can make as well a code snippet code snippet uh, let me just show you how that's going to happening here we go pick a type of the code snippet for example from here and here we can uh, we can put some uh, HTML CSS and JavaScript okay it means that once when someone is going to look our uh, our documentation he can copy the code as well and everything is going to be more easy for you okay so uh, guys thank you so much there was a quick video just example of how you can use the style guides uh, of uh, zero height okay um, combining with the figma in our case okay and i hope so that until this moment you understand what's the important of uh, the style guides uh, probably if you're a professional designer obviously you know this kind of stuff but if you someone like uh, if you someone like me uh, probably you just start to learn this stuff and you enjoy that okay so thank you and see you in the next video bye